Hello everyone out there in internet land. I hope you're all having a fantastic life, a great life, a good life. This is Ian here in Beijing, enjoying life and also coming to the conclusion that the spice of life is found in a hot pot. I've got to share with you some of my journey into the world of hot pot over the seven, eight years that I've been here in and out and living in China. So let me explain. For anyone that doesn't know, hot pot is a food dish. It's super popular here in China. It's much more than just food. Hot pot is a, an experience. It's a community thing and it is very much a shared space very much like a barbecue, but it's closer, more intimate, more friendly than a barbecue experience. At a barbecue, for instance, there is a cook, a person, or maybe two, who is working the barbecue, making the food, and everyone else, the guests, are being fed from a table or so. At a hot pot, everyone is a cook, and everyone is a guest. It is like my son called it, is a water barbecue. So let me explain. When I first came to China, one evening I was invited to go out for hot pot. I had a vague idea of what a hot pot was, but I did ask the question, just for clarity, what exactly is a hot pot? They described like a big bowl of spicy water that sits in the table and we cook vegetables and meat and, and eat it with sauce. My immediate idiotic reply was you mean you're making soup together and you're eating it as you go which was a response that probably didn't go down too well. Uh, sometimes humour misses its mark. That evening when I was invited out off I went to have hot pot. I was told when I got to the hot pot restaurant was that I had to put my jacket and my jumper into a basket with a lid to protect it from the fumes as we use a lot of spices and the vapor can be strong smelling so okay then i was issued with some protective clothing i had been in china for merely a couple of days so i was a little bit anxious at this point however the restaurant was packed there was a queue outside waiting to get in so i kind of knew i was in no danger but still clothing in a basket protective gear I was thinking that maybe this may be a bit too spicy for me, just a touch. So when the menu arrived and things were explained to me and it also came to my attention that I could have the base soup, which was essentially just a tomato soup and that it was not that spicy, I thought, okay, that is the one for me. I am brave. I will go with the non-spicy option. I remember there was a slight reaction to the choice at the table, but there was a workaround, I understood, and the workaround was a twin hot pot. So, okay, I thought, great, sounds good, sounds cool, as in good, great, cool, not like as in spice cool. I think it was still going to be spicy. So the order was being placed and there was a mind-numbing number of options, including options that we would eat back home in Scotland, things like beef, chicken, that sort of stuff. And there was also, included on the menu, some options that we would eat back in Scotland, but we would maybe ground it up and put in our national dish. Now, our national dish back in Scotland is haggis. And for anyone out there that is curious about haggis, I recommend you track some down and try it. I love haggis. I love haggis like Chinese people love hot pot. Go figure. Our food tastes and uh, our experience is very much what we grew up with. Anyway, back to the restaurant. The beers arrived at the table, which was obviously fantastic for me because it gave me some confidence to start to think about the whole hot pot experience. The hot pot bowl arrived and it was a large circular bowl that sat inserted into the table. The power was turned on and on one side there was this fiery, sort of looking spicy soup and on the other side yep you guessed it there was a rather tame looking 
tomato based soup which was just for me he was up and the whole soup hot pot thing started to bubble away my side of the dish or the hot pot bowl it kind of looked nice and bubbly and very inviting the other side it did look a, a little bit angry also had a little bit of an attitude and i felt intimidated by the spicy side so i avoided eye contact and stuck with the tomato the soup was ready hot enough and the ingredients started to get dropped into the soup including the salad leaves so that was odd i mean i had never really had boiled meat i had heard my mother's generation talk about boiled meat but i'm from that western generation where everything was fried especially in scotland roasted in the oven or you buy it from a fast food restaurant and it comes in a wrapper so you know i had limited experience so boiled meat was a real new thing to me and boiled salad well I thought at the time, okay, I'll give it a go, but I'm confused by the whole boiled salad leaves thing. Anyway, so that evening, the food was some of the best I had ever tasted. The hot pot, even the tomato based one, it was fantastic. The flavor was just brilliant. The flavor was explosive and the meat boiled in that flavor and dipped in a variety of sauces was just outstanding. Vegetables and the salad, the whole thing, just sort of worked for me the whole experience was fantastic and I do call it an experience because hot pot is an experience the whole experience again was brilliant because we're all cooking around this big pot the conversation is fantastic the humor is great the questions and the discussion it was riveting for me it was a real community experience that I had not felt really since maybe the old days when my many brothers and sisters would come around and arrive at my mum and dad's house in Drumchapel in Glasgow and we would just wax lyrical about the good old days even though we had a lot of poverty growing up we would have a lot of fun so it was very much that type of experience a family community experience it was fantastic I loved it after a few beers and we rescued our jackets and jumpers we headed off into the night um, at that point I kind of knew that China was going to be a great experience for me and this was the first time that I'd visited China. In my mind, the two key ingredients to a, a fantastic and amazing great society are food and people. And after that night, it taught me that both of these things in China are central to society. Uh, so I realised then that there was something amazing brewing in the Chinese society. Well, it was always there, I just discovered it. Since that night, I have had many nights eating hot pot. I have eaten in extremely expensive hot pot restaurants, normal everyday hot pot restaurants, traditional local hot pot restaurants. I have had robots serve me hot pot. I've had amazing hot pot here in the Muslim street area of Beijing. And that was a fantastic hot pot. It was served in a, a very traditional pot that sat on top of the table. In fact, we even cook hot pot back at home. But the one thing is that I've always opted for the whole traditional base tomato soup option because, well, I'm a big Scottish softy at heart. However, that all changed when I was in Sichuan province recently because I was visiting Chengdu and Chongqing. Sichuan province is famous for their spicy hot pot. So I was in Chengdu and I was having hot pot with my mate and he, he allowed me to order the whole split hot pot and I went for the tomato option. But he insisted I try the spicy soup option, just a taste he said. So, okay, when you're in Rome, do as the Romans do, as they say. So I tried the spicy option. Hi guys, just having some hot pot here with my friend. This Hello is Luke. <laughs> this is Luke. We just had some hot pot, spicy hot pot. I'm, I'm like, anyway. It was hot, but the flavour was like something I had never really tasted before. It was a real hot burst of mind-numbing flavour. And it was a full body experience, especially with the coughing and spluttering to get over the, the initial shock of the spiciness of it. Anyway, I did it, uh, and when I went back to the tomato-based soup in the same night, the tomato-based option was kind of boring. It was bland, it was just okay. And I think that's when I would began to get changed and influenced. The next day in Chongqing, I went out for a, what's called a, a rotary hot pot. There's not that many of them here. 
but it's like a yo sushi where you have a personal hot pot bowl and you just lift things of a conveyor belt what you want to eat and then you just pay per, per bowl or skewer or clip or whatever um, it's a kind of pay-as-you-go experience and it was awesome it was awesome but as I sat down when I entered the restaurant I was asked by a very attentive waitress if I wanted spicy bowl of soup or well the, the tomato option I paused for a minute and I looked at her straight in the eye and the image of the spicy came up and the image of the tomato soup came up in my head and I was working through my choices she must have thought it was a bit odd as I think I was pausing for a longer than average natural pause period and then I said la la means spicy in, in Chinese uh, and that was it from for me from now on I'm a spicy hot pot kind of guy the rotary hot pot that evening was amazing and the staff the service was outstanding I think my terrible mastering of the Chinese language made the whole experience for everyone in the restaurant funny and the staff laughed we laughed I laughed we all laughed because it was just anyway it's a different story but thank you Sichuan province thank you for showing me the way the spicy road it was an experience and it will stay with me forever and I am now the spicy hot pot guy as always this is Ian here in Beijing bidding you farewell look after your family look after your community and as always peace out